Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all really, really well. Looks like I've got a little guest with me today because Peppy has decided to come and sit right next to me while I film this video. Um, today I am doing a haul video. So I haven't done one of these in a very long time but I know you guys love them. I am off to the Cayman Islands in just a couple of weeks, I think the week after next actually, so I am so excited um, and I've been getting a, a little bit spendy and finding some clothes that are going to look perfect in the Cayman Islands. It's a Caribbean island so it's going to be very very hot, um, tropical, that kind of vibe, so I wanted some things that kind of reflect where I'm going. I always like to dress for the occasion so I love clothes that kind of reflect where I am so I've picked up quite a few things that I don't know if I'm gonna keep or send back yet um, I'm gonna try and try them on for you guys and insert clips um, and yeah let's get started and see how we get on okay so my first item is this cute little spotty top this is from Miss Selfridge and it is a size 10 it's got cute little sleeves, they're just gathered at the bottom and I think they're about three quarter length. The spots are quite small, it's a white backdrop with black spots um, and it's got this cute little frill detail down the front and I would say that this is like a tea dress style top if you know what that means. Um, so basically yeah this just reminds me of tea dresses that you get, it's got a cute little frill detail at the bottom and it's just simply got two little buttons, one here and one underneath over there, just to secure it. So it's not going to be terribly secure, but let's see how we get on with that one. And I picked this to go with a pair of trousers that I also picked up. I'm not sure if they're from Miss Selfridge, maybe Oasis, um, but I'll show you them next. So they are from Miss Selfridge. It is this pair of mustard yellow paper bag waist trousers. I love a paper bag waist. I find it really, really flattering on my silhouette. Um, it's got... Pin, pin stripes is that what you call it like pressed stripes down the front and the back as well no pockets or anything on the back but just this cute little gathered waist and these are in a size 10 as well and these were 35 pounds so I thought these would go really really cute with this cute little top as well this top was 28 pounds um so I thought those two would look quite sweet together, so I'll try them on in a second and show you guys. Okay, so this is the ruffled top with the paper bag waist trousers. I don't know what to think. What do you guys think? I think the top is cute. This It's very busty, so I'm showing a lot of cleavage. Um, I really like the trousers. I think they're such a lovely fit around the waist, um, they fit really nicely on the leg as well, they're actually the perfect length for me which rarely happens with trousers, um, maybe they're supposed to be cropped but they're just not cropped on me, really like the trousers, just not so sure about the top, maybe if I try it on with a different top I might like it more, um, yeah I don't know I just think because I'm quite petite and quite short it's maybe not as flattering as it could be on me. Next up sticking with the mustard yellow theme and also from Miss Selfridge is this gorgeous play suit. I absolutely love this or jumpsuit even, play suit's the short one isn't it. It's got cap sleeves, a little kinched in waist, it's got this lovely detail which is like a twist kind of belted waist there and it's got long legs as well. It does need a good decent iron. Um, but I thought that was really, really sweet. It's also got a high neck here and a little cutout detail there as well, just to show a little bit of extra skin. Um, but I love the colour of that. This I got in a size 8 because jumpsuits I find normally come up a little bit bigger. Um, and this was £42, so a bit more pricey. But I love that colour and I thought it would be such a bold statement, especially in the Caribbean. Um, perfect for the day or evening, so... That one I picked up. Okay I've got the yellow jumpsuit on and I've also got this little headband on. The jumpsuit I really really like. It feels beautiful, feels really really light on me. Um, I love the little tie waist detail here. I haven't managed to get this little loop on the back done up but I think it's quite flattering at the back as well. I like the length of the legs. Um, yeah I'm really pleased with this. The length of the sleeves as well is really beautiful very flattering, very elegant, um, yeah I just think it looks really really pretty, I really like this one. Okay next I picked up three very very similar items and they're all shirt dresses so I'm going to pop them here. Um, 
So I really really wanted a shirt dress this year because I find them really easy to throw on over bikinis, to wear during the day, it's just one piece, um, it looks great with wedges dressed up, dressed down, on the beach, so yeah, I wanted to find one that I thought was perfect. The only issue with um, t-shirt dresses, or uh, shirt dresses even, is that they can come up very very see-through and I have a feeling this one might be one of them. This was actually my favourite online, but it is this gorgeous little white shirt dress from Pretty Little Thing. And what I really liked about this one is the frill collar here. Um, it's also got this big bow detail, which you'll be able to see when I try it on. Um, a big bow detail down the front as well. And also kind of tighter arms here and they're buttoned up with the lovely little frill detailing on the sleeves as well. So I thought that one was really, really sweet, um, and I'm looking forward to trying on that one. It's got this big thing here, so that might be a bit difficult for me to try it on. So, yeah, let's see how we get on with that one. Okay, this is the Pretty Little Thing shirt dress, and I bought this because I thought it would look a little Blair Waldorf-ish, but I kind of feel like I come across more as a nun than Blair Waldorf. I've not done this arm up because they are so difficult to do up. They're also quite tight. I think because I'm quite petite I've got smaller arms than normal people so I think this kind of sits right where my arm starts to get a little bit wider. Um, so it's not the most comfortable. I've also got this stupid thing which makes it impossible to actually try it on properly and I also think the length isn't as long as I would like it. It's also a bit see-through sadly. Um, so yeah I think this one's maybe a no from me. I'm not sure. Again, what do you guys think? Next, we have, oh no, sorry, this is just, this is just a shirt. Sorry, I was wrong, I only picked up two shirt dresses. So this is the second one. It's got very similar arms to the first one. It's got kind of Kinston here at the wrist um, and they're balloon sleeves as well. It's got more of a collar on this one. It's buttoned up all the way, but I have a feeling this one's gonna be very, very oversized. Um, that might be a good thing, it might be a bad thing, I'll have to try it on and see. And this is from Monkey, I really really monkey, love Monkey, I love the style of clothes they produce, I bought a lot of their stuff from spring summer last year as well, I think I got like a bikini um, and a skirt and things like that as well, but I think that one's really really pretty, it just looks like it's going to be absolutely massive and I think this one I got in as small. So let's see how we get on. Okay guys, this is the monkey shirt dress and I'm quite impressed. I think the length it is slightly short, but it does have really deep pockets, which I'm enjoying. I've just slung a belt around it and I've pulled the sleeves up. I like the puffy detailing. I quite like the collar as well. Um, I do think this part balloons out a bit and the pockets do make it, they do make me look really wide at the hips, I think. Um, but all in all, I think it's quite a nice shirt dress. I think if you're super tall um, and leggy and Amazonian, I think a shirt dress like this would look so good on you. But I think on me, maybe I'm just a little bit too short um, and I'm not as skinny as I could be. So yeah, I'm, I'm not sure about this one. What do you guys think? Yes, no, I don't know. What do you think? The last item that I thought was a shirt dress isn't. It's actually a top. This one was a bit more pricey. I can't remember the price of it. This is a 10 and this is ASOS own brand. It was a bit more pricey, but it looked so beautiful on the model. It's got a high neck here, comes down in like a ruffle kind of detail, balloon sleeves again, and then on the back, it just has this gorgeous open back with a big bow on it. And I thought that looked so, so sleek. Again, I thought it would go lovely with the paper bag yellow trousers. Um, yeah, I just thought that was so pretty and I had to try it on. Okay, I really wanted to love this top, but I just don't. It feels really like every time I move, I feel like a nurse moving. These sleeves just don't work for me. The back of it doesn't work for me. I wouldn't be able to wear a bra with it, um, which is impossible for me. I've gathered it in. I just don't think it's flattering at all. I'm just not a fan really don't like it but I do really love these trousers I think they're so beautiful and maybe with just like a white t-shirt or something like that they would look so nice next up sticking with the spots theme I picked up this cute tea dress from River Island I thought this was so beautiful I love the contrasting spots I think that's going to be a huge trend this season along with potentially mustard yellow um, so for spring summer I think we might be seeing a lot of this um, cute open back and the ruffle detail comes along the top so I thought that was really really sweet 
Um, it's got the lovely little details here as well and it's just got a beautiful kind of flared out bottom to it and these pretty fluted sleeves. I thought that one was so, so cute. This I bought in a size eight. Um, sometimes with longer dresses like this or fitted dresses, I get a size down just so they fit perfectly. Um, and this one was 46 pounds. So again, it's not the cheapest of items, but I thought that might make quite a big statement and it just looked so beautiful. So I'm looking forward to trying that on. The only thing I'm worried about with this one is that it might be too short. Um, because if you've been watching for a while, I like things to be below my knee. So hopefully that one will fit and look lovely. I really, really like the sleeves. I think it looks really, really cute. It's quite flattering. It's very low cut. I can't quite see the length of it, but I think it just skims my knees, so that's not too bad either. I don't know, I quite like it. It's very easy to wear, feels really beautiful. This was the size eight. Love that detail. I really like it, it's cute. Next up are two dresses that I didn't actually get specifically for the Cayman Islands, but I saw these on the website and I thought they'd be great for now. This one is the first one. This is a brand called Jacqueline de Jong, and this is a size small. Um, I think I paid £25 for this one, and this is in Aurora Pink. Um, basically, it's a little jersey dress, and I just thought this was really, really sweet to wear over, over the knee boots, um, or even longer boots, depending on the length of it. I'm going to try it on to see what the length of it is, but I loved the colour of this as well. I'm not sure if the colour is coming up properly on camera, the lighting outside is so bad today, so hopefully this works. Um, but I just thought that one was really, really gorgeous. Okay, this is the pink knit dress. I'm obsessed with the colour of this. This isn't how I would wear it. I would probably wear it with over the knees. Um, but I just wanted to show you guys like this. So, yeah, I'm quite pleased with this one. It's so soft. The fabric is gorgeous. It's a good length on me as well, um, in terms of arm length. And, yeah, I'm quite, I'm quite pleased with this one. I think with over the knee boots, it will look really gorgeous. What do you guys think? And next up is a very similar dress. It's this one. It's like this coral orange colour. And this I bought in a size 8. This is ASOS own brand. Um, again, very similar, cute little jersey dress. Um, it's a knitted dress. It's got this cute little frill detail at the bottom. And again, I thought this would look lovely over over the knee boots or just little crop boots. And again, you could probably get away with wearing this into spring. Um, so yeah, I thought this was really, really lovely and I thought maybe on the plane I could wear this to the Cayman Islands because then I could just whip off the tights, whip off the over-the-knee boots and stick on some wedges when I got there. Um, but yeah, I think that one's really, really cute as well. Okay guys, this is the orange, the coral jumper dress. I love this. This feels so soft, so beautiful. It's so pretty. I love the little frilly detail at the bottom. And I can actually imagine myself wearing this now with over the knee boots and through spring and through summer because it is so lightweight, so free. I think this is a size eight. It is a bit oversized. I feel like it could have a bit more shape, like just at the top here maybe, just to come in a little bit and give me a little bit more shape. So maybe I'll look at getting a size down on this. But it is so beautiful, it absolutely love it and I would actually wear it like this as well I think it's really cute okay next is an accessory I picked up this cute little headband because I thought it would look really really sweet with the polka dot top and the paper bag trousers and it is a very very similar color um, it's just a little knotted headband and this was ASOS own brand I can't remember how much this was I think it was about five pounds maybe which is quite expensive for such kind of a plain item it's not really that interesting um, but I thought it would look quite cute with the outfit and it would actually finish off the outfit quite well. Right, my last two items from ASOS are shoes. So I've got two boxes in front of me. I can sort of remember what I got, but not very well. So these I bought to go with all of the outfits that you've seen already. So let's have a look. Okay, these are pink and I thought they would be a bit more cream-like. Why do I always do that in videos? I always drop something on the floor. Okay, and we're back. So, I thought these were really cute. They've got a pointed toe, so they're gonna elongate the leg and make them look really, really elegant. They've also got this cute little heel, and this isn't a bad heel height, actually. I thought it would be quite um, an easy to wear style while I was in the Cayman Islands, and hopefully my feet wouldn't get too hot in it. Um, 
I'm not sure how I feel about the more pinky look. I thought they were going to be more white. Um, but I don't know, we'll see how we get on with them. Okay, this is the pink pair. These are the ones with the pointed toes. I mean, these are definitely too big. Look, I can squeeze my feet out of the top of that. Um, they are a beautiful shoe though. I think they're definitely for somebody a little bit more um, girly maybe, somebody that ne doesn't necessarily like as much color as I do um, because the white are perfect because they're so neutral and go with everything. If your tones are more blush toned, these might be perfect for you. They are a beautiful shoe. They are just not very comfortable on me. I think I definitely would need a size down and these I can feel would 100% rub on my feet. So these are a definite no for me. These ones, I can't remember what these look like. Oh, okay, interesting. Right, hmm. Again, I don't know how I feel about these. I think these look maybe a little bit older than I wanted them to look. It's kind of this distressed leather look. These are white, they've got a round toe this time and a bit of a higher heel. So if I put these side by side, you can kind of see the difference. So they're definitely a higher heel. Um, it's a softer leather, so it should be more comfortable. Um, and both of these I got in a size five, so hopefully they fit. These also come up a little bit higher on the toes, so they shouldn't rub. But they might be quite a decent shoe, especially going into spring, summer as well. Um, they look like they'd be quite comfortable, so maybe they might be a winner. These are the white pair, and I actually really, really like them. I was right, they're super, super soft. I wonder if I could get away with a size four because these are actually slightly too big on the back and I worry that my feet would just come out of them. But I love the heel height. I think they're really, really elegant, really beautiful. Love how soft that leather is. Um, I think I'm definitely going to try and get these in a size four so that they fit a bit better. But so pleased with them. I reckon these are gonna sell out so quickly so make sure you get a pair. Um, because I think everyone is going to be wearing them this spring and summer. Okay, moving on from ASOS, I also picked up a few things from Next. First of all, I wanted to show you this bag. I don't think the style for wooden basket bags or anything like that is going anywhere very soon. So, I picked up this one. I thought it was really, really cute. A great beach bag, great to chuck everything in, and just a really, really good holiday bag, really. I don't want to take all my expensive handbags and things like that on holiday. Um, just because they look out of place, I think. Unless you're kind of in the south of France or something like that, there's no reason to have my Saint Laurent with me. I mean, saying that, I may as well, I may take it as well. Um, we'll just have to see. But this one was £38 and it is a really decent size. It's got a little button to do it up here and it also comes with a strap that goes over the top as well. So you can either have it just in the little handles or you can wear it over the shoulder as well. Thought that was really, really cute and versatile. Okay, this is the gorgeous little bag from Next, so you can see how big it is in comparison to me. Um, I really, really like this. I really like this whole outfit together. I think it's really, really cute. Have you come to join us, Peppy? You coming to say hi? Hello, darling. Do you think you could fit in there? Would you like to go in the bag too? <laughs> Hello, baby. Um, so yeah, really, really like this whole outfit um, and I really like this bag too. So pleased with it. Then I picked up a new swimming costume. This one I thought looked so elegant and beautiful. It's a scallop detail from the top, um, navy and white swimsuit. It's got little straps that you can either have on or off, it doesn't matter. Um, this I got in a size 32 double D. I'm actually a size 30 double D. Um, so, but this one seems to fit okay um, and is great. Um, it's got the scallop detailing on the top of the leg as well, which I thought was really, really pretty. And I just thought this was a really cute, sophisticated swimsuit to take away with me. Sometimes you don't always want to be in a bikini, so um, yeah, I thought this one was really, really cute. I also picked up this bikini, which is beautiful. It's like a floral detail with frill detailing here. It's underwired as well, just for extra support. I kind of prefer underwired bikinis. Um, I just find they give me more support and I'm more comfortable in with them. This was £14 and this one I'm actually going to have to send back because it is a bit big. I'm not going to try on the swimsuit or bikinis for you guys on camera. I just think that's too much. Um, but this one I got in a 32 double D as well. And the, the 30 and the 32 have quite a big part as well as the cup size as well. But I think because this is a wider... Um, back size 
the cup size also doesn't fit. So I'm going to see if I can get that in just as simply a 30 D I think they have, I don't think they do a 30 double D. It's actually quite hard to get 30 double D because 30 back size is quite small um, and double D is obviously not the smallest. So it is very hard to find. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna see if the other size fits a bit better. And then I picked up these cute little bottoms. Sorry, I didn't quite throw that out of sight, did I? <laughs> I picked up these cute little bottoms to go. They actually completely match. They're just high-waisted um, little floral bikini bottoms. And these I got in a size 10. And these fit perfectly. They sit above my belly button, which I like. I think that looks... If you're going for a high waist, I think the high waist has to be above your belly button just to look... Um, like it's right otherwise it just looks like your bikini bottoms are too big sometimes um but yeah so really pleased with those ones as well this one i'm so excited about this is a beautiful beautiful dress and i think a white dress when you're on holiday is so classic nothing beats it um and it's this bardo style so it's got sleeves up here or straps up here then it also has bardo sleeves here it's buttoned all the way down and it's quite long it sits under my knees um and I just thought this one was so gorgeous. This I got in a size 10. Again, I've tried this one on and I'm gonna have to get a size eight because it is too big. Um, but the detailing on this is so pretty and it's also got pockets, guys, which is super handy. Um, yeah, I thought that was so pretty and I love the crochet detailing with like the little circles in it. I thought that was so beautiful. Um, so really, really pleased with that one. Next, had some gorgeous stuff for this next coming season so definitely check it out before you're going to go away um because it's so so lovely right this is the next dress i think this is so beautiful it feels lovely on the body as well the only thing i would say is that i think we're next that you need to size down so this is a size 10 but i really think i could get away with an 8 because of this bit here if that's just pulled in a little bit more i just think it looks that little bit more flattering on my figure what do you think there that would probably be an eight there which i just think looks that little bit better um but i love this dress it's so beautiful so free i love the shoulders here um yeah i'm gonna get so much wear out of this in summer okay guys that is everything in my haul i really hope you've enjoyed let me know which your favorite piece is if you're gonna pick up any pieces also let me know if you guys are away anywhere soon. We have got the Cayman Islands coming up, we're also going to Portugal in February, and then we're going to the Philippines in March, which I'm so excited about. So let me know if you guys are going traveling at all. Um, I would love to hear where you're going. And if you've got any suggestions on where we should go this year, please do let me know as well, because we are trying to get in as much travel as possible this year. Um, so I'm really looking forward to it. It's definitely going to be a great year. Thank you so much guys for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.